top of the morning friends and fellow traders this is doug campbell with right way options and this is the morning market prep video for april 2nd 2020. well yesterday we had kind of a bummer um market sold off i guess in anticipation of the jobless claims and just an ugly ugly sell-off yesterday where the dow dropped at one point down a thousand points it finished just a tiny bit higher than that on the end of the day so what does that mean for today well how about we settle into our comfy chairs grab ourselves something to drink and let's get ready for the thursday edition of the morning market prep video so this morning i almost feel like i've stepped off into the twilight zone we are heading into what is likely to be an his, a, a historic uh, jobless claims number. Uh, some are suggesting somewhere between 4 and 5 million could be out of work. And in a consumer-based economy, I don't know how in the world you can ignore that. But for some reason, the market is finding a way to ignore that this morning with a big overnight reversal. After a pretty darn volatile futures market last night, we are now pointing to a gap up open to try and recover, oh, maybe about a third of the Dow sell off yesterday, maybe a little bit more than that as this wild price action continues and and i have to say irrational price action it's just it's all over the place it's just a psychological mess um in this market so taking a look at what we've got going on here this morning and and let's take a look at the price action and the technicals because what i think about it really doesn't matter what what the market is doing that's what matters and that's what we need to pay attention to so first off if we take a look we're gapping up uh, about here into this area as i speak right now dow futures are up 356 points as we move toward that jobless claims number now what's important about that i think is that um, yesterday we had moved back up and we were trying to hold above this 2018 low in the chart so technically speaking we we recovered that support area and then yesterday we lost it substantially now if we do catch a rally today if we are going to ignore jobless claims in a consumer-based economy which seems just seems irrational to me but if we are going to ignore jobless claims and rally back up we'll want to watch this area here for resistance if that serves as that resistance area then we could potentially see more downside in the market however if we can substantially push this back up and push this through this may actually serve as that higher low so we move up pull back find that price support in here buyer step up in here could this be the higher low that begins a little bit of uh, an uptrend in the market i can't tell you for sure what's going to be the case i just have to assume what the price is doing is which way the way we're going to be moving and right now the market is acting as if jobless claims just don't matter and we're going to move higher so if we punch up into here watch that resistance level and by the way we also have additional resistance levels to consider we have this price action resistance level to consider if we punch up into that area so watch that closely if we fill this gap and then fail then um, uh, certainly we could start working into those double bottom type patterns in the chart i don't i just don't know um, the the market is so erratic and um, so volatile in its price action there's not much you can do to to count on anything it's just trading what you see at this very moment because it may change uh, about a half a second later so expect a news driven a very volatile price action action day here in the market now technically speaking on um looking at some moving averages you can see that our 500 day moving average has now crossed down through um or excuse me our 50 day moving average has crossed down through our 500 day and our 200 day obviously a pretty dismal technical picture here in the charts so we'll just have to watch this carefully 
try to trade around this quick intraday and that's about all we can do here because we really can't count on too much and remember we have that big employment number government employment number tomorrow Friday morning before the market opens so anything is possible let's take a look at the spy 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 uh, very similar situation trying to ignore this morning we're gapping up substantially here we're trying to take back a pretty good chunk of yesterday's selling as if uh, joblessness doesn't matter and as you can see we've created a couple levels of price resistance we have a price resistance right through here and we have a price resistance up in here so we're trying to hold once again does this mean that we are going to create this higher low in here and see those bulls then follow through and start pushing to the upside or does this mean that we will rally back up into these resistance zones of the chart and then potentially see those sellers so keep stay on your toes here um, I expect a bumpy day um, as this market um, thrashes about trying to figure out what it wants to do here as you can see the 50 is crossed down through 200 day creating some technical damage and that 50 is diving pretty fast give this another week or so and it may be down below its 500 day moving average let's take a look at the cues cues also um, trying to rally back up this morning kind of an interesting situation where yesterday we give up price support and we give up the 50 to 500 day moving average and now in an overnight reversal we're going to get back up and recover or attempt to recover that 500 day moving average so once again um, any rally back up will want to be watching these resistance levels in the chart and you know keeping in mind that these are pretty substantial moves that we're looking at uh, pretty dangerous price action overall but if we run into these price resistance levels up here and then fail look for that downside move to uh, be created and if we can power our way back up even amidst uh, crazy unemployment uh, watch that right in here if we can power back up that could serve as support and this could give us that upside move that everyone's hoping for in the market let's take a look at iwm iwm also losing support levels yesterday and dropping substantially now this morning iwm is trying to gap up but you can see it's not gapping back up above this resistance level uh, this morning at least at the moment it's not that could change and you can see that resistance flows all the way back here in the chart so um, IWM has certainly been weak and um, struggling here so we'll want to watch that close a couple levels of resistance that it's going to have to work on to reclaim a decent technical pattern so let's take a look at the VIX interestingly enough the VIX even with a thousand point sell-off the VIX just kind of went ho-hum it rallied but kind of went ho-hum don't care um, it's like the market is becoming desensitized to these uh, wild moves but as you can see we are still in a downtrend here on that daily um, kind of a what I would call a bullish flag pattern in this pullback if we were to pop up out of there it wouldn't be a big surprise um, at all so we'll want to watch that pretty closely as we progress but as long as we stay in this downtrend I think that's a good sign now we want to look for price support in this chart and there is significant price support that we could see right across here right in this area so if we find that price support in this little bullish flag um, pattern watch for that potential bounce off of that area however if um, we just have no concern about joblessness um, we could drop down below here and maybe start moving down and attacking these levels of price support and uh, pushing in toward that 50-day moving average here on the chart who knows where we're going to go um, just expect lots of volatility let's take a look at t2122 it's the four week new high new low ratio now this gives us a little bit of hope that a bounce um, you know is definitely necessary and we're getting one getting that this morning in the futures and that is just that t2122 buried itself back down here in that bullish reversal zone and that opportunity to maybe pop up off of there and try to catch a little bit of levity 
um, here in the market. Uh, whether it can or not, I just don't know. And yesterday I mentioned to um, watch this area right in here for that potential that pullback we certainly got that and so be really really careful guys it's so many folks i see wanting and, and you just see it on all of these financial news networks of the talking heads are just literally begging people to come back into the market please come back into the market but yeah we don't have any price patterns and we don't have um really good signals to be able to do that as a retail trader be really Really, really careful chasing this around emotionally and feeling like you're missing out remember we've got a lot of recovery to do and as these um, virus numbers continue to grow the president's considering um, uh, halting flights some flights here in the United States um, all kinds of impacts are continuing to occur um, we've heard of some bankruptcies um, starting to emerge um, those companies will not be hiring back and all of these different situations going on the impacts to these companies is substantial and it is going to be challenging for a while I believe in this market so consider those things carefully and just don't get caught up in that fear of missing out I just have to hurry up and rush in there'll be plenty of opportunity in this market let's take a look at our economic calendar here today in our economic calendar that's the big the big daddy the granddaddy today that everybody's paying attention to and trying to watch and as you can see here um, we've got international trading goods uh, I'm sorry motor vehicle sales here this morning and I didn't actually uh, haven't caught that yet haven't seen that number yet uh, motor vehicle sales we have international trading goods we have jobless claims factory orders and the natural gas report so a busy morning of data as you can see and who knows where this stuff will come in um, on on uh, these numbers there is quite a little bit of information out there that our factor I mean our jobless claims could be somewhere in between four and five million um, I remember the day when the market would find out that we would get a surprise number that um, unemployment jumped you know over 300,000 and the market would tank on that well four to five million and the markets trying to go up so um, figure that one out but that's that's where we are here today so watch that closely and then keep in mind tomorrow before the market opens we have that potential of more overnight reversals um, with that 8 30 a.m. employment number from the federal government so um, anything is possible be really really careful on how you trade and approach this market so let's take a look at um, earnings reports today and who's what's happening on the earnings calendar we have about 44 companies reporting earnings this morning I kind of doubt they'll kind of be pretty overshadowed by the um, uh, economic uh, numbers today but we should consider them uh, anyway we have WBA Walgreens will be reporting this morning. It looks like they have reported gapping up this morning, or perhaps it's just the wild swing in this market pushing it up. Couldn't say that for sure because I haven't seen that report, but there you go. Walgreens trying to move up. Now, overall, this is still in an ugly downtrend, and this wild volatility um, in this price action right in here makes it virtually impossible to put any kind of a plan into trade. It's just wild speculation to trade this, but it is nice to see a little bit of a pop here in Walgreens and they could be one of the beneficiaries of course of the virus as everyone is needing to um, stock up and and uh, hold up in their homes uh, for their medication so um, they may be benefiting from that um, as we speak CHWI uh, Chewy Chewy is one that's been rallying nicely and a big benefit here Chewy being an online pet food retailer um, everyone is buying their pet food online nowadays um, because they're all at home and so you can see had a major benefit here in Chewy and 
looks like it's trying to lift up just a little bit this morning that could be just a function of the market i'm not sure when this reports but they could catch some benefit on this as well kmx kmx car sellers carmax um, looking for a report here this morning looks like they're gapping up here this morning um, obviously very much in a downtrend um, not exactly that bullish pattern that we want to see but gapping up into here that is a helpful thing for the market and perhaps we can start breaking some downtrends here eventually and starting to improve on some of these stocks um, and last but not least play Dave and Buster's um, reporting today and I'm assuming Dave and Buster's being a restaurant and into your gaming establishment is all closed down um, and that's going to have some substantial impacts but you can see trying to move up here this morning as well with the morning gap up and once again we are still uh, moving lower in these charts so be pretty careful and cautious as we move forward now on the jobs front there is actually um, some bullishness out there if you've heard you know st companies like Walmart um, WMT um, hiring just like crazy they can't hire seem to hire enough people right now to handle the coronavirus demand keeping shelves stocked and things like that walmart hiring uh, stocks like kroger um, hiring um, home depot um, has been on a hiring spree so there are a few bright spots out there on the jobless front or jobs front but it is um, pretty tough right now for those folks um, losing jobs um, left and right in high paying jobs you know oil industry and all kinds of things um, uh, being uh, just decimated right now um, as we continue this shutdown here in the country so few things out there to be you know finding some levity in but it's a pretty difficult situation so with that everyone hey i want to wish you all a great day in your trading i for one probably will do very little trading to me right now the market just seems irrational i don't want to risk my hard-earned capital in here for any um, uh, major swing trades however i may trade very quick in and out trades and what i typically do is i'll flip over and trade futures um, if i'm looking for those quick intraday trades just for tax reasons and um but I, I can't see myself really risking a whole lot of money heading into this weekend, that Friday number. Um, lots of volatility, lots of risk here in the market. But I want to wish you great success if you choose to do so. And if this is the first time that you have seen these videos, if you could do me a favor, if you could click that subscribe button on YouTube and also click that thumbs up button and those bell icons to make sure that you're noticed, um, notified every time I uh, post a video and then also leave a brief comment if you feel the video is worthy and that helps us continue to grow and I want to say thanks to everyone who takes the time to do that I truly truly appreciate it so how about we take a look at a few things that well may have some opportunities that we'll have to watch for that we could potentially trade and um, see if there's some opportunities to pick up some um, some good trading um, in this market when I was kind of interested in here yesterday was JD now JD um, being an online retailer um, trying to pick up here and as you can see it spiked up into this area and hit some resistance and then pulled back at the end of the day but notice it didn't sell completely off with that big wave of selling here in uh, the market so as you can see JD is up here above its 50-day moving average obviously very choppy pretty darn dangerous and this morning it's gapping up so we've got this little bit of a price resistance right in here that we're trying to break through if we can pop through that and hold there may be some opportunities opportunities here in JD another one along those same lines would be Baba as as China tries to recover um, whoops uh, Baba has been bouncing around in, in here quite a bit had a pullback yesterday but what's interesting to me in this chart and I'm going to go to a naked chart here to display this what's interesting to me is we pressed up into this downtrend and you guys know that the pattern that I'm always looking for is if we can press up into a downtrend I want to watch for that stock to see if it can pop out of there hold it as support and then I'm looking to maybe get into that position so watch this in here 
here, as we start to recover some of these daily patterns, we start picking up and pushing through, um, there's going to be some uh, amazing opportunities set up in some of these charts. So keep an eye on that. Um, other places where you might look are, are some of those um, strong defensive type areas where stocks like Coca-Cola, we know Coke is not going to go away, but once again, we're pushing up into that downtrend area and we need to break through that that downtrend holds some support in here and then there may be that upside potential coming in some of these charts and these are good dividend payers and things like that to pay attention to um, last place i'm going to talk about is maybe in that oil sector we're seeing oil popping up this morning take a look at stocks that are down here in the bottom and maybe take a look at like xle xle energy etf if this is going to pop up from here there may be some great opportunities here in stocks like that so pulling back kind of resting holding into a little support area trying to bust up out of this downtrend watch that if that pops through and you can see we're trying to gap up this morning here in XLE a little energy boost here um, in the market on uh, oil so watch that in here if there's an opportunity there may be some upside potential coming in energy keep an eye on that so everyone, I want to wish you all a fantastic day. Be safe, be careful, protect your capital. Remember, there's no, there's no bravery medals for, for um, risking your money in a market that is so incredibly volatile and challenging. Don't lose your capital in this market. Let's wait. Let's wait. There's going to be plenty of opportunity once it calms down, and it will calm down eventually and we'll get back to better training but until then be very very careful wish you all the best and we'll talk to you all bright and early friday morning have a good one